Hey, my lovely Cancers. Welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me, Cancer. Um, anything you want to know about me, the channel, personal readings, all that good stuff is going to be down in the description box below, you guys. I am here taking care of the long-awaited love reading. Y'all done been in my comments like, please, can we get a love reading? Can we get a love reading? Please, please, can we get a love reading? And I just want to say that hopefully this reading gets the engagement engagement and the appreciation um that it should since like y'all really i ain't i ain't complaining but y'all really did have me for this love reading <laughs> um but just to make up for you guys i'm gonna do a couple of love readings um i'll focus on one new love one specific love we'll do some digging into how your person may feel about you this one's just gonna be a free for all we're gonna see what comes up for you what's going on um in the energy around you in your love life cancer so if you're interested definitely make sure that you are tapped in leave me a little residue of your energy on my thumbs up button make sure you're tuned in hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell and make sure that you're always here with me cancer all right getting the tea um but yeah this is gonna be a very very transformational we're, we're getting ready to have this full moon in scorpio and so it's gonna be happening in our fifth house of love and romance uh depending on when you catch this reading i may have already posted that um message about the full moon and everything that you need to know to be aware of what to be looking out for all that of what you can expect will be available so definitely make sure make sure that you check that out but definitely that's why i was feeling the pool the energy to kind of come in and look at cancer's love life so we're going to pull a card for the current energy surrounding cancer's love life we're going to pull the overall energy for this for this reading um look there you deserve love card try to show up look you deserve a love reading so here it is okay overall energy for cancer current energy in their love and relationship life spirit love and romance what's the current energy what's the vibe for cancers all right, so Lou, we got soulmate showing up. I am definitely getting the vibe. Someone's about to connect with and meet their soulmate. And I feel like this is going to be so pivotal for you with you connecting with your soulmate, okay? Your soulmate. This is going to change your life in more ways than just your love life, okay? I feel like this love, this relationship is definitely going to bring in um the stability the confidence just and you know not to say that you necessarily need this other person but i do feel like this person was made for you when your soul was made this other this other person's soul um was made with you in mind and vice versa and so um yeah this is your soulmate okay so some of you may already be connected with your soulmate and this is confirmation to let you know that this is your soulmate some of you are going to be connecting to your soulmate so just take it how it resonates you know these readings are um very general so take what resonates okay pay attention to the red flags is here at the bottom of the deck and i feel like spirit is trying to like um wave you down flag you down and let you know that hey this is your soulmate pay attention to what's going on um for some for some of you too i feel low like, because there is this uh vibe of where things could be ending in a current situation to for you to move towards your soulmate cancer i feel like spirit could be throwing up some red flags you know to tell you to hey abort the situation move forward go in a different direction do not pass go do not collect 200 dollars. go in the opposite direction right um so that you can that you can hook up you can run into this soulmate so um there is there are some signs that could definitely be cautioning you here cancer about that okay and so trust your intuitions don't don't take them red flags it's just like flags at the amusement park you really want to kind of pay attention to that but i also feel like this i'm reading it as a sense of spirit is trying to like sound the alarm like hey love is here for you you deserve this this is your soulmate like yes this is the one let's see what went on in your in your recent past recent past in love for cancer i was trying to decide did i want to um use this deck recent past for cancer in their love life spirit 
so yeah there's been some healing that's happening all right um some of you may still be in this place where you are you know recovering or healing from some type of heartbreak okay there's been um you needed to free yourself from a situation and like i said this could be you know take it how it resonates some of you could um find yourself kind of picking up the pieces or freeing yourself from it says a toxic situation or a relationship um it's giving codependency vibes too there may have been patterns that have come up that have needed healing okay healing for yourself and this could be for the other person as well it's giving kind of like karmic um karmic themes here so yeah but I feel like definitely the healing, the healing that has taken place is bringing this energy of abundance in. And so that's why I feel like, yeah, um, Cancer, you're connecting with your soulmate here. There's going to be an abundance of joy that I feel like and passion that you feel around this soul connection. Okay. Um, so spirit is telling you to kind of keep a positive mindset in this in this uh space and time right now because what you're desiring as far as love and romance in a soulmate is going to manifest exactly how you want but you want to go ahead and be in this state of gratitude okay um and i'm just really feeling the vibes with this connection okay i'm here for it i'm not gonna talk against it because it's giving very much getting to know someone or like this is like very much kind of newish love or blissful kind of love let's see what the potential what's coming towards cancer what's coming next the potential what's coming next for cancer and love what's coming up next so the sword in the rose so yeah there's gonna be some clarity around your love life and it's giving very much like someone um may reveal how they feel okay because the sword in the rose it definitely speaks about um you know clarity and truth it feels like someone could be speaking their truth this could be you too cancer um but this underlying energy of the kisses so it's giving me yeah um some of you have been connected with this soulmate and your souls have been communicating okay um but i see this is giving very much like affectionate okay i see you and this person giving um and receiving connection it's like a warm embrace here and i feel like you feel very secure very protected cancer this feels um this feels loyal okay this feels like falling in love and this feels like you know you can kind of it's safe to do so i feel like there there's a message with that it's giving much it's very much safe to do so um but this yeah this is a very this isn't just a, any kind of connection this soulmate clarify soulmate for cancer What else can we know about this soulmate? So we got, look, stabbed in the back that's showing up. And I feel like this is this heartbreaking pain. Some of you, um, some of you, this may be someone that you've been separated from before, okay? And I'm just saying that because I'm seeing kind of this um, stabbed in the back. I know it kind of gives off this uh, negative connotation, especially with the healing heart that has had to happen. Um you could have experienced this. You could have experienced some type of like betrayal or um, heartbreak or toxicity from a person that you felt was your soulmate. And it's not to say that they weren't your soulmate. Um, it's giving very much. I feel like there may be some type of secret that comes out around a connection. So be aware of that, um, Cancer. There could be something that kind of comes out where you find that a person was being deceptive towards you. Um, and and like I said, if that happens, if some type of separation occurs between you and a person that you're connected with cancer, take it as, take take the red flags that Spirit is, is trying to show you, okay? Take it for what it is and cut your losses and move forward because this brings, you're going to have a clean break and this is going to bring you towards your soulmate, Okay um your next soulmate right where you're gonna feel very much protected secure you know you may have been you may have dealt with a person where um i don't know what is giving the vibes of where there's like no title no titles or anything or whatever that could have been a situation that was very painful for you i don't know what exactly 
the backstabbing or betrayal was but there's some type of pain or heartbreak that you have definitely needed to heal from that i feel like and because um because some of you have gone through this difficult challenge and have done the healing it's now you're being rewarded with your soulmate okay so yeah this is definitely some type of past energy um and and i am seeing it where uh, where some of you could be connecting again with a past person and i'm not necessarily saying that you get back with this person but this past person could be stuck in the past in some type of way or you could be where there needs to be you see how the swords are showing up this knife is showing up it needs to be a clean break or there needs to be some severing severing that happens okay um you could have children with this person for somebody, I'm seeing that you're about to connect with your soulmate that you're going to have children with. It's like you're going to be, des you're going to desire to, the family, fertility, all of that is going to come up because you're, you're connecting with this person. For some of you, this soulmate is a past life connection or someone that you have been connected with. And even though there are themes of like betrayal or separation or deception or whatever that have shown up in the past, I do feel like for some of you, if this is where you are meeting again with the past person, you're going to be able to, there's healing that has happened. So I do feel like there's going to be true forgiveness to be able to move forward. And I see that on both ends. I feel like people, um, both parties are able to stand in their truth, but disclaimer, I'm not telling you to get back with the ex. I more so really see this, um, um, and so I'm not speaking up against getting with an ex either. Do you boo? Okay. Free will on this channel, but I am more so seeing this where you may have definitely gone through a tough time, a karmic time with a past, uh, a past connection, right? A past, and it could have even, like I said, been a soulmate. But of course, everyone has free wills. We free will. We all make our own choices, and the connection may just no longer be suitable for you, Cancer. You know, you're doing some growing, evolving, transforming, and it just may no longer be beneficial for you okay um and i feel like there's a lot of healing that you've done around your emotional patterns and how you show up in relationships how you relate in relationships and so that's gonna be that's gonna move something different yeah matters of children i don't know definitely cancer i'm gonna tell you if you're not trying to be a mama or a daddy like be careful because the vibe is definitely here okay the vibe is definitely here, and especially with the full moon that's happening in our um, fifth house of children. Matters with children could definitely be coming up, okay? Somebody, you may come to some type of revolution or revelation about children, how you feel about children, your children, whatever, okay? Um, let's see. What else does cancer need to know about their love connection spirit their love life more about this past see yeah i do feel like cancer you were dealing with someone that um and cancer for somebody for somebody watching this it may only be one person but you are still currently dealing with this person and spirit is sending you all the signs like red glaring neon signs red flags showing you like it's time to um in this cycle with this person, this toxic cycle, I do feel like there you could be dealing with someone that is not as emotionally as mature or available as you, Cancer. They could have just, um, some of you could have dealt with someone that definitely betrayed you in the sense of like they had sex with someone else or, you know, it's like they, yeah. It was messy in the in the past over here, okay? You could have definitely been dealing with someone, like I said, that just wasn't emotionally available. They were hiding their intentions about what they wanted to do. They were just playing the game. They were playing the field. Um, and so for some of you, this could come back up, Cancer. And I feel like themes of this could come back up because of the karmic nature and too, just to kind of test to move forward okay i feel like you know cancer spirit is going to be sending those signs your intuition is going to be on point you should be able to spot this from a mile away like yeah <laughs> um but you were dealing with someone that was definitely they were yeah they were they were not what you were desiring and i feel like that's what you're moving towards you're about to be rewarded you were dealing with someone that was just trying to play the field maybe they just wanted to hang out kick it have fun or whatever but now you're moving towards a more romantic kind of situation i'm definitely seeing the themes of the fifth house with the full moon showing up cancer so it's like you know you may have been you may have even been single for a while this past may have been 
10 years ago past, whatever. Okay. Whatever it was for you, you've been waiting on the right one. And I feel like spirit is about to, um, give you that. Okay. There is definitely, you're, you're about to be blessed with your soulmate for keeping hope alive, for staying optimistic about your love life, okay? And I feel like this person that's coming in, they're being serious. Where this person over here in the past, this past energy they were playing, they weren't sure about their intentions or their intentions just weren't matching up with your intentions. This person over here is serious, okay? This talks about you being courted, all right? So this is someone coming in wanting a serious connection, a, a serious commitment, wanting to take things to the next level. But I feel like you dealt with a lot of up and down in love can answer a lot of you may have dealt with um a person that had very much erratic moves um moods i'm um, getting what's the love like love bombing they may have been like in and out with that sense kind of just up and down and very much kind of so yeah if you've dealt with that cancer if that's resonating for you um no matter where how long ago that was in your past i feel like what you're moving towards is going to definitely be like a prize a reward from breaking up um breaking out of that okay so future plans is showing up here and i feel like yeah what you when you connect with this soulmate cancer um y'all are like it's not gonna be it's like y'all have already known each other. And for some of you, that may be the case where y'all have known each other physically in the 3D before. It's going to feel like that. But I'm telling you, it's very much future oriented. It's very much what are we doing? Where are we going? It's not this playing player, you know, staying like you're a new person. You got new habits, new thoughts, beliefs in relationships. And that's going to be how you move forward differently. So some of you could be finding yourself moving in with um, your soulmate. All right. But it's like definitely you're making plans. Y'all are getting clear on where you're moving towards, okay? And awakening and showing up here at the bottom of the deck. This is that spiritual activation between the two souls when you meet, okay? And I feel like you and, and you connecting with this other soul, like I said, it's bigger than just love. It's going to help push you towards your, your divine life path. Your goals help you to reach your goals, Cancer. This is going to be, this is beautiful. This is giving twin flame ascension for someone. Okay. However, it resonates for you. What else does Cancer need to know? Um, we got legal matters that wanted to show up here. So yeah, someone could be finding themselves getting divorced in this time. And um, you know, of course, yes, it's an ending, and I'm not gonna tell you not to mourn it, but I do feel like it, it could definitely be the best thing that's happening for you. If you've been feeling like up in the air around your um your romantic connections, can answer. Can answer. Can answer. Oh my gosh. Can answer. I kind of like that though. But anyway, cancer, <laughs> you may you may find yourself ending a relationship or starting a relationship. This could even be you know coming into getting married or getting serious. All right, that's what I'm saying. It's very much serious, but um, I feel like someone may be in the place in their life where they're. Uh, taking the next step to move towards their healing, you know, that could look like getting a lawyer severing. That's what I was talking about. The knife is like cutting things up, cutting out, you know, uh, rationing things up right now. Can't say that's what it feels like. And two, I feel like, yeah, there may be some uncertainty that you may have around your love life, your love and relationship life, but you're going to get the clarity here with the sword and the rose. The clarity comes that that was the future here. All right. So where you've been feeling like, you know, feelings were up in the air. You just didn't know. Yeah. All right, but we're getting um, traditional popped out here. So this is what I'm saying, Cancer. Whoever this soulmate is for you, I'm going to ask in the tarot. We'll see what shows up. Whoever this soulmate is for you, they're old-fashioned, okay? That's why I'm saying. They're coming in. They're wanting to court you. Um, like, they're specific in how they're going to move towards you, okay? Um, this is something that could move very slow and steady okay but i'm definitely seeing marriage okay with traditional um legal matters showing up someone could be deciding to get married okay moving to the next uh step of marriage or like this could definitely be putting your name on a lease together or whatever um living together all of that but i do feel like for somebody you could definitely and this could be an indication too to let you know if this happens to you, um, cancer, this is how you know your spirit is about to hook you up with your soul, your true soulmate, the one um, that you need to be with now, right? 
uh it's gonna be a divine hookup but there's gonna be someone from the past that does contact you okay some they could contact you in some type of way there's gonna be some type of communication or it comes up like it's gonna come up in such a way that you're not gonna be able to ignore it okay there's something that has to be addressed in regards to that past connection okay that has to truly heal that has to truly heal cancer Um, I want to ask about who this soulmate is for cancer. Who is this soulmate for cancer spirit? Let's see if we get any clarity or insight about who this soulmate is for cancer. What does cancer need to know about this soulmate? So mm, we got the seven of swords that showed up and with the moon here. So I do feel like um, cancer with this combination, it gives me a vibe like there's some things that are still a mystery about this person. It could be, but I am definitely getting confirmation cancer. You may have definitely been through a difficult time where it may be hard for you to trust people um, and open up your heart in regards to love because the seven of swords is showing up um around your soulmate and like i said you could have been connected with the past soulmate okay you want to definitely be aware of other people's actions because i feel like there's definitely a vibe of like some secret coming out that needs to be talked about cancer that spirit is saying that you're gonna have to and i'm not laughing i ain't trying to laugh but it feels like there's some type of secret or something that definitely could come out if you've been having your suspicions cancer about something in a connection in a relationship or whatever um spirit is definitely dropping you hints to to confirm or deny for you okay the seven of swords i feel like too with the seven of swords showing up cancer the moon here at the bottom of the deck you could have experienced some type of physical loss a material loss and now it's being you're being rewarded with the soulmate and that's what i'm saying this soulmate is bigger than just a love connection a love hookup okay but I do feel like there is a message to be aware of, you know, when people are contacting you, um, especially past people, you want to be aware, you want to get to the root of their intentions, okay? What does Cancer need to know about their soulmate? Yeah, there's like a sense of you. I'm telling you, Cancer, you're, it's like you're having to leave something or someone behind. Look, the Ten of Swords um, popped out on top of all of that. But it is like you're leaving one situation behind and fully moving into another situation. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be leaving a love situation behind right now. But there's going to be some type of ending or loss that happens that is pushing you towards meeting your, um, your soulmate, okay? There's going to be some type of bittersweet situation that kind of brings you towards this newfound happiness in a connection in a partnership okay and for somebody i do feel like it can be a little messy because um especially like it, it's given a dissolvement of a marriage and unfortunately there could be children involved or whatever but the house the house changes like the um i feel like yeah definitely where you live could change or whatever and that it's like where you live that doesn't sound ideal, right? That you have to like find a new place to live or whatever, um, pack up your house and the only home that you've known or whatever. But that's what like sets you up to be, to meet this soulmate, you know? You just never know how it happens, but um, could be definitely an air sign. A lot of air, the swords are showing up. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. More about this soulmate for Cancer Spirit. Uh-oh. What does Cancer need to know about this soulmate spirit? Ooh, I just got that too. Like, be aware. Be, be aware of like because that's what i was talking about with the twin flame and sometimes it's like you can get tricked with the quote-unquote like fake twin flame that's what i'm hearing too that's why you're gonna have to like trust your intuition because it's almost like you have something that's waiting for you but you could get distracted by something that seems like that and it's not really that so be you know be mindful um in that situation cancer what else does cancer need to know about this soulmate spirit 
look, the tower wanted to pop out. So I do feel like this is going to be kind of surprising, sudden. Okay, yeah, and it's giving very much a new star. All right, the dreamer is showing up. So I feel like this is a new start around your um your soulmate. I feel like you definitely, this is for someone that has kept their hope alive, their dream alive in regards to love. Okay, the dreamer speaks about trusting yourself too. And that's why I'm saying intuition is gonna be highly, highly important when it comes to um, matters of the heart during this time. Okay, but also opening your heart too. I know that you have been betrayed and played and you know whatever else in the past cancer but opening your heart to the future and knowing that you know the love that you desire the romance that you desire it exists someone that's ex as serious about love as you are it exists okay the good that you have put out the love that you have put out it exists and it's coming back to you and i feel like it's going to be in a in a very unexpected flow of abundance and love towards you with that tower trying to show up so yeah this is this is a really good vibe um the person of your dreams too so you may even dream about this person cancer this person may be on your dreams or you i mean in your dreams or you've had a dream about this person but it's giving very much like a divine kind of hookup situation here for you to meet your soulmate like and and spirit is confirming like yes this person is your soulmate what else can i tell cancer about their soulmate okay look so the five of swords wanted to try to slide out and this five of swords tried to come out when we were talking about the um seven of swords too right and so that's what i'm saying you do have to be aware cancer because i feel like there's someone they've either been in your energy or they're in your energy somebody has questionable motives okay but ultimately all in all they're gonna push you into the arms of your soulmate so i'm not worried about like them getting in the way of that but um it could definitely kind of be like a test kind of like the precursor to the you know the real thing and it's like you want to make the right choice you want to make the right decision as far as definitely healing moving forward but it's given somebody may come in um on some games or you may you may find out about somebody kind of being on game like playing okay and i feel like like i said all of this is happening to push you into connecting with your soulmate some of you, this is going to be fresh energy where this, you know, this messiness is happening. Some of you, this is past energy. Like I said, this could have happened like years ago. Um, but now all of that has happened. All of that has expired and um, transpired for you to experience that so that you can connect with this soulmate and, um, you know, it'd be different this time. What else can I tell Cancer about this soulmate? Give me one more. Let's see. One more card for this soulmate for Cancer. All right. Ooh, Cancer. So we got the two up. Mm, I just got a vibe, Cancer, because the five of swords is back here down at the bottom of the deck. And that's why I was getting this. Okay. Because let me tell you about yourself, Cancer. You, gonna, you your little self, honey. Um, it's given like you was real, real single. You probably, you may not have had anybody and now you finna have your hands full or you're going to be juggling. Okay. Um, but it's like, yeah, you're going to, you got to make the wise choice. Cause one of these people is your soulmate. Okay. And you want to make sure that you're making the wise choice. Cause somebody may be posing, lying, scheming, pretending, looking, trying to look like the soulmate, but no. Um, and I do feel like, yeah, there's a juggling that's happening. That's happening between you and another person. Um, for some of you, the juggle could be like i said you could be leaving a marriage you could be leaving a situation you know um that stuff kind of takes time or whatever but yeah when stuff is supposed to happen it's gonna happen and i feel like you may connect with this soulmate or reconnect quote unquote with this soulmate you know and the timing of it could just kind of be very interesting where yeah you're gonna have to juggle you're gonna have to I, yeah you <laughs> cancer i feel like you're gonna be juggling or like choosing between um a person it's almost like you know what just like i had said okay i ain't gave y'all a love reading in a minute so i'm gonna come and do a couple of love readings spirit saying that like okay your love life may have not been that popping lately or, or whatever but i'm gonna come in and like give you double for your trouble around it but it may actually interestingly cause you a little bit more trouble and i'm not gonna say trouble but it's definitely you're gonna have to make sure that you make wise choices and decisions and you do that by healing around your heart so that you don't make the same mistakes as before you learn from those okay but yeah cancer this is your soulmate this is really really good vibes really good energy and like i said i feel like you're gonna feel love protected this 
this person is a dream come true. It's given that, okay? And they're very much future-oriented. This person, they want to, they are not trying to play. They are trying to come in and be serious and let you know what it is, okay? They're speaking their truth, and you should speak yours too. This is a great time to be vulnerable, Cancer. Lean into it, all right? Um, but I'm going to leave this reading here. Like I said, I'll be back with some additional insight around love and relationships for you. So if this didn't resonate fully, there may be additional insights and messages in the upcoming reading. So definitely make sure your notification bell is turned on. Okay. Talk to me in the comments, you guys. Um, but I'm going to leave it here. Definitely. Like I said, check out the, um, what you call that thing? The description box for all the important information that you want to know. Okay. But yeah, y'all in the meantime, in between time until next time, I love you.